Hi, this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's segment is on my journey into data science where we talk to distinguished people working in the field, talk to them about their experience, their transition and their advice to fellow data science aspirants. And today we have with us Tanvi Keswani who works as a data scientist at Ericsson. She did her masters in data science from IIT Kanpur and has close to 4 years of experience. And if you are a data science aspirant, do not miss out on this interview as she is very relatable and we spoke about her transition, journey, confusion regarding different designations as well as degrees and certificates. So let's just get right to it. Coming to the first question, what do you work as and your journey into data science? So my name is Tanvi Keswani. I am currently working as a data scientist with Ericsson. I have done my bachelor's from, uh, in electronics and communication. And uh, during that point in time, I had no clue about what data science is. And uh, I, then I went ahead and pursued my master's from IIT Kanpur. And it was during my coursework that I was introduced to the world of data and the concepts like data science, data analytics, machine learning, big data. And I came across like uh, different applications of uh, different real world applications of data science. So that was very fascinating for me and uh, then I uh, looked in depth into it and I started pursuing, I started taking my courses such that I can have a strong portfolio into data science. So as a part of our coursework, we had to go for two months of internship as well. And uh, during that uh, period, I learned Python and how Python is being used in the field of data science and uh, uh, I had a use case which was built around uh, churn prediction in one of the tele for one of the telecom client. It, it was very challenging like uh, the entire process of data science. It's not only about just machine building. You have to start from understanding the problem. You have to frame it. You have to talk your stakeholders, understand what are the challenges that you are facing. And their uh, business statement, business problem would be more of technical in their own business terms. Now you have to convert it into a problem that can be solved through machine learning. You have to think of what all data you can use and then you have to create features which bring the domain knowledge into your model. So this is a, a, a big process. I would say it's an entire process that you have to go through and it's iterative. It's not like just that I just built, uh, built one model and I'm getting good results out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but again and again, I will have to go back, check with my stakeholders. Uh, is it correct? Are the assumptions, are the things that they are telling? I have to validate with data as well. Does it happen in the same way that they are saying or there is some kind of anomaly, some kind of unusual behavior? Then we go and point it out to them. So it's a, a wonderful journey, I will say. And um, uh, after my like internship, uh, I got an opportunity to work in that company only in which I had done my internship. So it's a service-based startup. And uh, during my uh, work, uh, during my tenure over there, I was working on uh, migrating uh, data from the traditional uh, databases like Oracle systems into cloud. Now, since we have this cloud technologies like AWS, GCP, right? So most of the companies are working and migrating the data into cloud. So my role mainly involved building data pipelines and use PySpark and Hadoop architecture so that we can go for parallel processing. So during that time, I had learned something different uh, about the data science part because it was like uh, earlier we used to get the data in the form of a CSV file and I didn't give it much thought that uh, there are databases and you have to extract your data from there and how complex that particular process can be because companies have data residing in different systems and there are many, many challenges while extracting those systems. You need to get all the relevant permissions. You need to understand the data, the process through which you are collecting that data. So that was another uh, vertical of data science I came to know about. And then I moved ahead and I joined Ericsson. And uh, my journey with Ericsson has been very uh, amazing actually. I have got so many opportunities through this. Uh, first of all, I would like to highlight that I came to know about the overall picture, the big picture, which is like you, you, you collect the data, you deploy or you build the model and then you go for deploying it. So I had no clue about uh, there's something called as model deployment or model monitoring. 
for me it was like i just have my code in jupiter and that's fine i'm generating some insights and i'm telling the business but i was not involved in the part of deploying the model which is very important because we need to understand that uh, uh, our model is useful and it can create value for the business only when the insights from this models are delivered to our customers so that was a wonderful learning for me and how we can uh, make our output make our results uh, available to the end users there are different ways you can give them for for an example you can just give them a ui uh, interactive dashboard right where they can go they can just pass on their data and they can see the insights which are coming from that data you can create some reports and there are multiple ways it depends on your use case and uh, uh, how frequently the users are interacting with your uh, dashboards and everything and other thing is you have to monitor the entire process so because what can happen is if the underlying process through which you are collecting the data changes then there are chances of data drift which will result in your uh, deterioration of your model performance so you have to take care of all the pieces and being a data scientist it's not like that you should be only worried about your model accuracy you have to think about everything and gradually you learn it it's not like that you can just do one course actually it's to be very frank it's not about just doing one course and getting into data night uh, data science it's not an overnight journey neither it's a herculean task you learn every day it's continuous learning and you learn from your colleagues and there are like so many resources available online that you should go through visit and don't restrict yourself to only one resource just go out check what people are doing it's an extensive research area when we talk about a career in data science there is a lot of confusion regarding the different designations for a beginner so basically i would say there are many job skills job roles which are available like you mentioned data analyst then there is business analyst there is data scientist decision scientist you have data engineer uh, you have machine learning engineer you have statistician so these are like kind of a sound similar but what i would say is uh, all these roles are interdependent and there are skill sets which are very specific to a particular role and the responsibilities are like very specific to that role if, if it's a data analyst like a data analyst they need to understand that how can they get into data science so what basically data analysts do you can think of them as a detective a spy kind of thing who is just torturing the data and try to understand what are the insights from data they are like just looking into it and trying to figure out what why why this is happening then the role of data scientist is bit different wherein they build a machine learning model on top of your data they try to build some kind of model which is either doing some kind of supervised learning or unsupervised learning so they have this model piece in place so their role is like uh, they should know how to deploy the model and what all algorithms exist how you can solve this problem but uh, data analyst is someone who is like just playing with the data and generating some kind of reports and it's very easier to transform uh, get, get uh, transition into the field of data science and a data scientist can also become a machine learning engineer it's just about the skill sets and main thing is what you are passionate about that you have to find out you need to understand that it's up to you it's, it should not be somebody coming and telling you that do this just because of the hype around it right like think about a data engineer their role is to make sure that the data is available for the data analyst or the uh, data scientist so they uh, work on the databases different type of types of databases they have a good understanding of hadoop and uh, they know like uh, if ha- they have to fa- fetch the real time data it's their job to get us the data but at the same time data scientist in that way should know the overall picture how it is going uh, but these specific roles they can be limited to like their roles or if they want to get a uh, transition into data science they need to learn the techniques and read about it and there are like so many resources that you can easily do and over the time you will realize that a data analyst can turn into a machine learning engineer he can be a data scientist you just have to get that required skill sets and at the same time one thing which i will like to mention over here is it's about the hands on actually so nowadays what happens is mainly people are just reading they are going through courses they are doing certifications right so everything is on is in your head and you won't remember it for a long time you need to make sure that you are good at hands on 
as many as projects you are solving uh, that that will help you to clear your concepts all the concepts like starting from uh, extracting the data right if if possible i would suggest that in your own company look for some projects in which you have to work with data so you will understand the challenges the first biggest challenge is to extract the data itself as it is residing in so many different systems how you combine it you understand the business logic around it and then you are able to uh, combine multiple sources and create your table your analytical base table on which you can perform any data science operation so be more of hands on participate in competitions like kegel kegel is a very good platform which hosts so many uh, different use cases right and then you have hackathons and it's not like that you have to participate on your own you can find so many people within the community who are exploring these platforms there are so many people who want to be in this platform so just make your contacts reach out to people and it's good to have a mentor actually so that they can guide you through your path they can suggest you that if you have decided it are you uh, wrong at some place or uh, is the learning path that you have taken is it correct uh, like i want to get into nlp so sh- do i need to know coding or not what are the technical skill set that i should have read some blogs reach out to people and people around the community are very helpful and everybody is there to guide you and there are platforms like aim also right so i know that uh, aim also had something like this uh, mentorship concept wherein they also guide people and then there are like conferences go and attend that interact with people over there so it, it's like so many things happening around the world you can't be lazy over here one thing to be mentioned and strictly that you can't be lazy you have to be passionate every day is a new challenge and you have to make sure that every day you are learning something new let's talk about how important is a degree specifically in data science so basically for me uh, i actually just wanted to go for my masters i was very passionate about doing masters I wanted to go into an iit and do a course from there uh, so basically i tried during my bachelor's but I, but i didn't get some good rank and couldn't crack it and then it was my masters through through i gave gate exam and then through uh, that i have actually qualified for my masters uh, so i got this particular course and i had no clue about uh, what it is about but uh, some of my professors who were uh, like who i was in touch with d- during my gate exam so they actually guided me that uh, you should go for this particular course it has good value and all that stuff but they also didn't have much idea about this leads to you leads you to the field of data science so once i reached there and then uh, there were my seniors who actually guided us telling us that there are different ways in which you can build your portfolio through this particular course now it's up to you whether you want to go into marketing uh, whether you want to go into finance or you want to go into data analytics and they told us that these are the specific courses that you can take because we had the flexibility to choose our courses and in iit there was one more advantage that we had the flexibility to attend any course across the entire university so if we want to attend any course of computer science we can go and audit it we can we had that flexibility and we can uh, credit it as well there were like both the options uh, so i used to uh, like uh, based on my interest i used to take topics so sometimes i was particular uh, like i was attending all the courses that i had selected and which were uh, going to give me credit for that particular semester and few of the courses i was auditing but i was not regular in that i was not getting that much time to you know like uh, attend all the classes uh, but there was flexibility so what uh, that particular course work gave me an understanding and uh, i would say uh, it, it was like uh, how data is being used how in the, but it was not more of like how industry is using it like i said uh, i came to know about the real world examples that they are doing it and i knew the algorithm behind it but the proper operationalizing and industrializing part of it was missing from my curriculum and when i went into the industry there i got the idea of how it is being done now coming to your question where you are saying that whether we should go for you know like experience and then degree so if you are already into the industry best way is uh start learning from the online resources which are available and try to get a project in your company itself which would have a smooth transition you can have some uh, use case from your company and work on that and suppose you have you are in the finance domain from quite, quite a long time right and you have the background of finance you know the a to z of finance then you can think of one use case through, through uh, uh, which you can solve through data 
that is also very helpful you are having the bag, uh, sound knowledge of one domain and you can reach out to companies telling them that how you can combine your domain knowledge with your data science knowledge which is also very helpful it's not like you have to start from the scratch and think about like uh, what to do now i want to get into it so there are many ways and it depends on your style of learning so there are like some people uh, who like to read books right so they can go and just read from the books the main thing that companies will touch upon uh, will like uh, try to check your concepts and all is that uh, they will ask you questions questions related to the algorithms in order to understand how comfortable you are with them and at the same time they check how much hands on you have that is why i'm like uh, giving much uh, importance to the hands on part because when you do that then only you understand how challenging it is and based on your learning it's up to you whatever you are comfortable with don't uh, like uh, just go about what somebody saying something has worked for me and something else has worked for my other colleague i have my colleagues like in my team who are in the industry from past 12 years like from more than 10 years and uh, they have experience in data science of like around 2 to 3 years but still they are there right they have also done the transition and they haven't done a professional degree it's not about the professional degree it's not about a phd in data science it's just about the way you approach it it's up to you how comfortable you are in learning about it how passionate you are about it are, are you after like a 10 years of experience are you willing to learn and relearn things un- unlearn things actually uh, and understand the magic behind data are you ready to program so like a financial somebody is in finance right they don't have any clue about programming somebody in hr they don't know what programming is right they don't have those concepts and suddenly if i tell them to come into data science it's very challenging for them until and unless they want to come in and they are able to get that programming background there are things which are needed you have to be good in programming you uh, you need to know about statistics have some mathematical background and you can learn everything it's not like that uh, uh, it's hard to learn or you can't do it it's not like that just be passionate and be patient about it so it's all about you and your learning and things will work out if you are patient and you are dedicated enough you are like religiously giving your time you are making it a habit you are doing continuous learning you will get at the right place it might take some time be patient about it thank you so much for being a part of this video and with that we come to the end of this conversation don't forget to subscribe to analytics india magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career see you soon bye